energy is quite a tricky concept and trying to define exactly what energy is is really quite tricky but really we can think of in physics energy is the um, ability that a body has to do work and there are really only two types there's kinetic energy and there's potential energy uh, and what I'd really like to do here is talk a bit more about the kinetic energy of an object so the kinetic energy of an object is the energy that an object has due to the fact that it's moving. And it really depends on two things. It depends on the mass of the object and also the velocity. For if I have two objects which have a different mass and they both move at the uh, same velocity. So what we find is that the kinetic energy of an object is proportional to its mass. Something that has twice the mass moving at the same velocity has twice the kinetic energy twice the ability to do work. When we consider the velocity of maybe two objects that have the same mass, that kinetic energy is going to be proportional or somehow related to the speed. But it's actually a squared relationship. And when we bring this all together, we can say that the kinetic energy is equal to a half mv squared. The kinetic energy, ek, is equal to half the mass times the velocity squared. But why is there a half in there? And why is it a velocity squared? Well, this comes from the, the derivation of this equation, which I'd like to show you now. So the kinetic energy of a body can be defined as the amount of work it can do in coming to rest, or the amount of work it was, that was needed to be done on that body to accelerate it from uh, zero, so where it had no kinetic energy, to the speed it now has. And an equation that we know is that work done an object is equal to force times distance. Okay, so W equals Fs. We also know that by Newton's second law, force is equal to mass times acceleration. And what I can do is substitute, substitute that force into there. So we can say that the work done is equal to mass times acceleration times the distance that it's moved through. However, this doesn't give us a half V squared. But if we assume that an object starts at zero, and is accelerated to a final velocity v, from the Suvat equation that you should remember, v squared is equal to u squared plus 2as. Now, if u is 0, then we can say that v squared is equal to 2as. So v squared over 2 is equal to as. If I then substitute this back into that equation over here, Let's say that the, the work done to accelerate an object to give it its final kinetic energy is equal to the mass times v squared over 2. So therefore, ek, the kinetic energy, is equal to a half times the mass times its velocity squared.